Well, I'll just give you an update on my uh, autonomous robot project. Um, I've got uh, OpenCV working on the uh, working on the Raspberry Pi, and uh, it works okay. Just hold on, let me. I've got my uh, the robot uh, or the uh, pan and tilt camera. And it will track my face if I can grab it. There it is. So I move over. It'll track me. There it is. If I move up. Oops, camera's in the way. There it is. And back down. So that, that's working quite well. Uh, I am going to build in uh, range finding based on the size of the head and a few. And uh, it goes through a routine that if it can't find a face in a certain period of time, it does a shallow, and there it's looking for. It'll go through a little routine that it uh, pans and tilts in a local area. And if it still can't find a face, like if you stood up, then it would look around and see if you were in that local area. And then, if you can't find it within, I've got 10 seconds, but uh, then it'll do a complete pan uh, all around the full range of the uh, of the camera, and uh, and so that's working good. And then uh, I am building in uh, to uh, have it park, and I'm working on a little uh, just. Uh, motion capture. There, it's going through its little. It's trying to find my face here. When it comes around, it'll find me. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like it's alive. <laughs> See, there it is. There, it's got my got my face. It's a little bit laggy, but it works. I'm I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, it's running off a Raspberry Pi B and it's um, Open Electron's uh, little pan and tilt uh, assembly which, uh, which works quite well so I'm happy. Uh, the chassis project uh, still um, uh, waiting on a couple of things but uh, I am using this uh, I am going to use this um, uh, Elmer's foam and I've tested the joints. So there's two types of joints I'm going to do. One is uh, an overlapping joint for corners that uh, have to be put together from two sides. But if it can be just a straight folded corner, then I've uh, designed a, a, v, a V cutting tool. Just hold on, I'll get it. Okay, so here's the, the tool. It's just a piece of wood with two uh, utility blades, those ones. And so what I did is I cut uh, the first one in. I used um, a hacksaw blade, a hacksaw, and cut a 45 and set it to the depth just above where the um, where the foam is so I don't cut through the foam. And then what I did is I marked a center line to the bottom of the blade or to the location of the blade where I wanted it and then I measured the same distance over from the center line over as here and the same thing at the bottom it's a very small space and then I cut the other one and made sure that the two lines were parallel with the sides here one's a little bit out but it's not too bad and uh, cut them on a slant and then just uh, drive them in with a little hammer or a little, you know, just tap them in because they'll stick into the wood. And then uh, you just put the blade down along a straight edge and draw it and it does a real nice joint. So while I was doing that, the, to do the overlapping joint you need a similar tool only 90 degrees and you don't want it to cut through but you need to make a little notch so that when you put the two pieces together, oh, sorry, when you put the two pieces together, the um, 
the foam, the, the other edge will sit and, uh, and the, the other layer will cover up the joint so you don't get a, a butt flush, you don't see the, the end of the uh, foam sticking out, you know, like a butt joint. So, uh, so that works quite well. So that's this joint here. And so it looks almost like the uh, the V-groove joint, but uh, and then you can reinforce reinforce it with uh, little pieces if you want. So that works quite well. So and then um, I've got a small um, uh, a small um, battery pack with a photo, you know, light uh, full solar cells on the back. And I'm hoping to make a little uh, holder and mount it like that. I don't know whether uh, self-balance is going to throw off self-balancing. So what I plan to do is take this uh, PiBot, which uh, I call them Frank because it's got wires all over the place. Uh, and uh, I'm going to mount these trucks vertically. So that will work quite good. So uh, there'll be a double flange on the bottom, so uh, it'll be it should be quite strong. I just have to use. Uh, uh, I'll just have to use um, uh, washers or whatever to keep the the bolts from pulling through. So that's about it. Uh, anyway, the the robot, the I wouldn't say robot, but the uh, the head is working quite good. I was going to. Oh shoot! Uh, I was going to program. Uh, Behaviors in so that when you uh, when you go f uh, up, stand up or or crouch down like a dog, that the robot would come to you, and that you could mimic some actions like moving left or right. Uh, there it is, searching for my face. I got the camera in front of it. There. It'll find me. There it is. Oh, then it centers. And there it is. It's actually almost like it's alive. It's, it's just too cool. Anyway, and I did get uh, new ribbon cables. Uh, they're 30 centimeters. They work quite well. I've got, uh, I've got one here. Actually, I just used, um, you know, a, um, an SD card case that was a little bit bigger than normal. Uh, did a little bit of trimming inside and uh, that that was just a convenient way to to uh, mount the uh, the camera so it's protected a bit. It's um, just to cut a little hole in there. I just used a knife. It's nothing fancy, but uh, it does uh, does work quite well. So anyway, so that's my little workshop. And uh, she's looking for me again. Um, so yeah, so. Um, that's the uh, update for now, and uh, just a moment, let's see if we can, he'll, uh, there, come on. It's a little laggy, but uh, if I crouch down, move around, you'll, you know. So then uh, I'll set the range on it. So that's about it. Um, I'll let you, I guess the uh, next update will be when I get the, um, the stand-up chassis done and let you know how the the Elmer's foam works out. So this uh, this Elmer's foam is um, $4.95, basically five bucks a sheet and it's uh, 30 by 20, quite a large MRE. And it comes in a, a whole variety of colors. I'm gonna make a second one after I build the first one because you always make your mistakes on the first one. And, uh, and make a different colored one and uh, of course the uh, I'm gonna make little removable shelves so that you can get out the electronics just pull it out slide it back in and hold the pieces in with velcro uh, should work good because these things have a tendency to fall over so initially I'm going to put a uh, little uh, I'm going to put a little uh, outrigger on here to have it actually uh, be uh, with a, the ball bearing off the back of this, or the little uh, uh, caster, and I'll use that. 
and so it will be able to uh, truck around uh, without self-standing for a while but I'm thinking that it would be good to be able to have it uh, sit down and keep itself uh, somewhat erect so that uh, uh, it has a, a safety but also allows it to shut down and go into motion capture and uh, uh, recharge the battery and do a few other things. So that's my status so far and uh, just uh, having more fun than you know than I think is legal you know it's like way too much fun. So anyway that's uh, that's it. I'm expecting the uh, Dawn robot uh, from England sometime. So, but in the meantime, uh, the uh, the Pi bot. Uh, well, it's been a little bit neglected because I've been doing programming on the uh, having so much fun with the uh, pan and tilt. But anyway, that's it for now. So, uh, bye bye. Mm -hmm.